Hello, my name is the Fireman, and welcome back to episode 2 of our Let's Play on uh, Nayswell Farm. I got it wrong in the first episode. I said Nayswell, it's Nuston. No, it's not. I said Nuston, and it's Nayswell. It's Nayswell. God, I'm horrendous with names. But anyway, welcome back. So we are just carrying on with this field. Combine's nearly full again, which is alright because I like having the combine running. So we can just take a little break from mowing, go into the combine, come back, do a bit more. But, uh, yes, we should most definitely be doing more and more videos. Episode 1 has not gone live because, as I just said, I've just recorded it straight after, well, straight before this one. I'm not too bothered how neat this is to, to be mown. Um, it's I will when we ted it and windrow it. That's when the neatness. Well, windrowing most definitely because I want to get it all, but I also want to make sure that the um, baler can get it all as well. And the combine is done. Just turn you off. Right, where's the combine? There he is. One minute in. So I think I'll record these two videos tonight. Um, so this is episode one and two. Have a bit of a break um, off the game. Maybe go get some food and stuff. And then record episode three and four. Have another bit of a break and try and get to episode five or six. If I can. But the problem is. I can't upload anything till the night time. Now if you're going to go on the tether whilst we're here, you might as well go put you on it. Oh, you forget how loud this thing is. It's a good tractor, good workhorse tractor, but my god is it loud. If we just jump up there. Anyway, try and get as close there as you can. Back it in. Try and get on there. Jump out. Q dead. And turn off. Put the ammo back on. Fire you up. B, B. Uh, no, 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 that's tabbing out the game. Did not mean to do that. Right. So let's get this side mode. Or mowing. I think we might have to cut this one at an at sideways to get all the grass. I'm not too bothered about all of it. Like that. I'm just trying to cut it as best I can. Uh, I'll probably go over all the bits I have missed and get them, because they do look a bit weird. When there's just a big, when there's just bits sitting up. Right, so let's turn that. Now if we go at an angle, we should get a few of these. This was, this was or even if we just use the bat mowers, because for some reason the bat mowers don't move as front as much as the front one does. Why are the front arms not folded? What what did I press? Front linkage is eight. There we go. That, I wonder why it looked a bit weird. No. There we go, anyway. Even with PTO spinning and all. Don't ask me how I got the PTO to spin, I have no idea. I think it's the manual attachment mod that does it, but I'm not too sure. Go down here. Now, this is going to be a hay field, of course. We'll get 
some hay bales and some straw bales made straight up and then we're going to get some silage brought in um, we're going to do we'll do the big field of maize first with a hired well a rented harvester or hired or whatever you want to call it So I think if we just, we'll do another headland because it's quite tight down here. Yeah, it's, it's going to miss bits. I'm going to have to find a, another front mower. Um, because it's not lowering low enough and it's being a pain in the arse. Whenever, when everything, when anything misses bits that isn't my fault, like it just misses bits on its own, then that's really frustratingly and annoying. And I realised that was not a word. did that again, I just went completely silent, I am very sorry. I keep stopping for some reason as well. Right, let's just have a look how well this is going. Terrible, because the front mower is just missing and missing and missing. There's really nothing I can do. Combine is full, so we'll do this row and then we'll go into the combine again. So much stuff happening. So we'll empty the combine, um, go to. We'll go empty the trailer as well, because that'll want doing. Now this should be facing the right way, well, of course we're not facing the right way, the handbrake is still on. Alright, let's go up to this. So how much money have we got? 27,000 so it's not too bad a profit we're making and this combine seems to be doing a very good job it's not missing many bits actually to be fair and it is actually doing a very good job it has a very nice capacity tank I think it's only 6,000 litres or it might be more I can't really remember but this is why I would like two of them it just makes life up a little bit more easier I don't know if it's got a dirt skin, I don't think it has, which is a bit of a shame, but hopefully they'll release a version 2 that does. Uh, 96, 97, 98, 100, alright, let's go get this sold. I want to try and finish that field in this episode and at least start tedding it. And then I will come off the save and have a bit of a break. Heave. Power slide. Um, I think we're just going to get rid of them. We'll do that field with them butterfly mowers and then I think we're going to swap them out. Um, I think we're just going to have a side mower. Yeah, we'll have a side mower, just for, maybe we'll do it with the International as well. Right, so we'll have a side mower and just run it on the International, or 
we'll have a side mower and actually run it on the full on the um, what's it the massive uh, John, John Deere I completely forgot it is I'm taking it slow just so I don't hit the post because if you hit the post in this map it's collision so they will just fuck you over right. so this one's only going to be a 20 minute episode the other one was 25 I think I'm going to do that I'm going to do 120 minutes and 125 minutes 120 minutes 125 just so it's not so one episode it depends what we're doing, because this is going to be near enough the same as the other one. I don't want to do another five minutes of it, because someone will get bored. Or maybe I'll even get bored. But, um, so there'll be, there won't be any comments to read out for a bit, but I hope you all enjoy the episode. I hope that you leave lots of likes. Wink, wink. To show your appreciation. Um... But this is Nasewell Farm. I accidentally said it wrong in the other episode. I, uh, I do apologise, but, but it is Nasewell. If, if I, even if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what it sounds like to me that it should sound like. So. But I've never had anyone read it to me. Now that combine is going to want another empty when we get back. Now if we have a quick look at Silas trailers whilst that's tipping away. Um, we only want a small one, so we could have the uh, wood 16 times 8 size trailer for 17,000, or the Stuart for 24, or the Marshall for 29. But we could even just keep this one because this one does do silage. It's but we'd have to finish all the harvesting first. I just want to get the harvesting out of the way, and then we can do. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I don't think we'll buy one. We'll just use this one. And just make life, you know. It's going to save a bit of money. Because we are going to start purchasing fields soon as well. So we want to try and draw up some cash. But we'll, we won't be buying any fields till we've got another crop in the ground at least. And we're stuck on something. Yes, I did not take that wide enough. So we want to get another harvest, well, another crop in the ground, and then we will see what happens left. So we've got barley in this field now, we'll put wheat in this one, and then barley in the canola field, and then these corn fields that are around, we've only, we only own this big corn field here, and I think we own field one as well. Um, we're going to turn them into harvestable fields. So we're going to keep mixing and matching what's going to go into what, um, just so it's we're not burning the fields out with the same stuff. I mean, it's not like we need any money. We have thirty-nine thousand pounds. We don't need to buy anything yet. We could start buying some sheep and slowly bringing them in, um, but uh, we need to get some pallet forks as well. We won't. We probably won't feed the sheep through the feed through. We'll just let them do their thing and just bring the wool in every so often. We'll probably get about 120 of them. Well, uh, to start with about 25 and just keep working our way up. So he's now he's actually right by the gate, which is actually really handy for me. Now, if you don't know what this mod is that's making these things so dirty. It's this dirt and terrain mod here, so if you go into it, you can see all the mud coming off the wheels and that. Which is really cool to look at, and it does get the tractors dirty incredibly quick. So if you want to test, like want to see what a tractor looks like with a dirt skin or a combine, all you need to do is just drive into one of them and get stuck. Well, sort of just drive into it. Drive into it at a very slow speed, and then try and reverse yourself out with something heavy on the back and you will get pretty much stuck and then the game will just let you wheel spin and wheel spin till you either get free so that's how I was checking for what some stuff looked like with mud textures on well with dirt textures on anyway Uh, 
so we'll go over to this one. I'm trying to make it so we're working towards the middle and it's not going to be too tight. But I think a side mower would be more handy than these butterfly ones. They do do it very quick, which is good. But this middle mower is irritating because it just misses bits all the time. Where I think a side, just a side mower on its own on the back of an international would be fine. Or well, even on the back of this would just be okay. But uh, we'll have to try a different front mower and see what happens. So this field is nearly done actually. I want to get this field finished, um, tedded and windrowed. We'll probably get a little bit of it tedded this episode, or we might even get, we might even just get the mowing finished, and then episode three we'll ted it and uh, win row it. Now these aren't the most highest quality videos. I do have to turn, I've had to turn the game settings down on my uh, the actual in-game to run this map with a recording without lag, because um, it is a very high detailed map, and my computer isn't the best. It isn't the most powerfulest. Um, but you know. Oh, we need to get a bail trailer as well. That's one thing we need to get. I'm going to have a look around for a couple. And see what there is. Because I don't want to use an auto stack one. I do want to manually stack them. Which does take time. But I may try and find my um, what's it software my editing software and see whether I can like do a time lapse so I can record it record the entire video of me stacking and stuff and then time lapse it and then, so the video will become smaller um, so that when uh, if people don't want to see the entirety of me stacking a load of bales, then I can just time lapse it and it will be easy. Okay, so this is now finished. So we're going to sell these mowers after this because we're not keeping these. These are crap. This front one is horrendous. So it wants the front one changing at some point. The back ones are pretty good, but the front one wants changing. So. So let's just get rid of them. So we'll just we'll buy just a side mower. I think the international can cope with just a side mower, but that does mean this JD will be able to do a lot of a lot more work uh, with some other stuff. So we have got the John Deere's there. We have got these that we could put behind the big one that we've got now. That's just the in-game mower with a Kevlin skin on it, but we'll buy that one anyway. Right, so let's get this out of the field. And yes, I could have taken that to shop to get more money, but we don't need the money just yet. So that's why I didn't buy it. Right, now we can get the International in here. And, uh, we can get it into the field. We probably won't make a start because it's coming up to 20 minutes. Splash, splash through the mud. Right, right, this can go back in the shed behind, well, next to the Massey. So this is this little shed is where we're going to try and keep the equipment. It's also where we're going to stack the straw bales as well because they are. There's going to be quite a lot of them, especially at that field. Oh, I've left the beacon, so I've left the window open. Seven and home. Right, so we'll get the international into the field and then I will probably um, not do any of it until we come back. So we'll completely be fresh. Right, when, when I come back to record episode 3 and 4, which won't be, which will be a bit later tonight, maybe. Heave through the mud, little international. Right, so we'll just sort of just sort of lower that and uh, turn it off. Check the combine, and he's doing brilliantly. But anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Happy farming. Bye bye.